Hey, this is Cool Trains in Montreal, and I'm here at Saint Constant at the uh, Rail Museum. It's uh, Expo Rail, and uh, this is outside of the uh, exhibition area. Just as you come in, and this is an interesting locomotive. So this little steam locomotive would have been used for shunting, and what's neat about it is it's so small. It's not a usual locomotive that you would see, say, in the Montreal area or something like this at the time. So what we have here is a single set of two pilot wheels. And then we have here four um, driver wheels. And that's it. So this configuration would be called a 240. 240. The two is for the pilot wheels. The four is the drivers and zero for the idlers underneath the uh, cab. And also what's neat about this is the tender. Most tenders would have four uh, wheels. This one only has, well, so it would have eight wheels rather, and this only has four. So they have single uh, wheel trucks on this tender. And here you can see it says Old Sydney Colonies. That indicates to me it was used in the eastern part of uh, Canada, uh, Sydney being Sydney Mines probably, or Sydney, Nova Scotia. So this is where it probably came from. Very interesting locomotive. And here you can see it's actually on top of a box girder here, the box girder bridge. Number 25. Unfortunately, the cab is kind of boxed off but it's what you would expect, I would say. So let me go around the back here, have a look at what you'd see here. This is the pilot. That's a step for, say, a uh, switching, switching crew. And uh, let's have a look here. Not too many people here today. So that's kind of what it, you would see from the front. That's actually the back, I think, actually. But you can see there that people could do some shunting off of it. It's meant as a shunting locomotive, as a switcher. It's small. Yeah. Here you have the station. Station Mall is basically a parking sign. Kind of ruins it from this side. Let's see the front. That's the front pilot. So just imagine this thing shunting around coal cars from the Sydney area mines in the early 20s or 30s. This one probably even could go back to the turn of the century. Rather beautiful locomotive. So if you like what I do, please subscribe to Cool Trains in Montreal. Have a good day.